Okay, hi guys. I wanted to do a real quick update on just what's going on with me and my trading. I haven't been very active today because uh, I might be more active tomorrow with Apple coming out. But let me just kind of show you what's going on. I'm going to be closing most of my positions here. Um, I have pretty much... Uh, okay, I've got to try to maximize this a little bit. Here we go. Here's my monitor tab. Pretty much I have orders all into close. Remember, either uh, one cancels the other, like um, if I'm losing double what I collected in premium or if I get to 50% or more of max profit, I'm just closing them all because I want to free up buying power. Okay, because I want to put on more trades. I see the VIX um, might be climbing up higher. Like I, uh, So I'm, I want to take advantage of that. Um, as far as overall market, let me show you. Uh, I know last week I did a video on the spy and what I, what I thought would happen. Um, my spider positions are doing very well. I might close some of them, like I said, for like mostly max profit. Almost, I'm like buying them back for like two cents or something. Okay, so as you can see, la the last video I did, I think I did it like right around. Yeah, I'll zoom in right around. Okay, so the last video I did was right around here when I talked about, you know, like this little fake out um, OBV staying above its average. Um, and here's what I thought would happen here. It dipped below, it's coming up, and it dipped again. So um, that's a weak sign. I, so we're looking for a correction, or at least um, uh, this is, of course, so strong. And it's above halfway in a Bollinger Band mark. So. I wanted volatility to collapse to con to you know contract. I mean because I want to take advantage of all class when I sold these SPY puts. I also see the bowler bands are getting narrow, and which usually usually vol collapse when I when I do see that, and then as it expands, it starts to get bigger as you can see here. Okay, so what might happen is this might collapse, kind of get narrow like this, and then it's going to expand again. And if that happens, I want to be ready for that. So I wanted to free up some cash. Okay, um, real quick for those who don't know, this is just a real technical chart. It's been very good to me before, in the past. Um, it's a lot easier when it's, you know, when these two line up like this. It's usually a very bullish signal. Uh, there's really not much to show you as far as a bearish signal because it hasn't been too bad. Well, there's one right here. OBV cross is just uh, more people buying than selling. So if it, it turns red and it goes and when it goes below its average, more people are selling than buying, which is a bearish signal. See as you can see, right? That's this first red bar right here. Okay, and then when your slow cost slow stochastic 39 one setting goes red as well. And when these happen simultaneously, that's a really good, it's a really easy buy trigger or sell trigger, right? So look, if I zoom into it like right there. See this first red bar here, okay. Second red bar here, pretty much they're both red, and you you can go short or at least go to cash, right? And then you wrote it all down like this, right? And then you get in again when they're both kind of green. So here's your first day, okay. You don't know if it's a fake out yet, but as you can see, more people are buying than selling because it's increasing, of course. And when it gets above its average, then it'll turn green like that. See which will be this blue signal here and then as you can see that this was a February 11th and you can tell what happened from there as I where's February 11th right here and of course we've been above that since then and I'll zoom out to where's February 11th February 11th is right around here and as you can see that's where we are now so um, as far as what I think, I don't know, I could be dang wrong. That's why I love the Golden Geckos. I'm just playing, I just want to play vol, 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 uh, volatility. And this is going red right here. This is creeping down towards 80. Um, volatility pointing up. If it passes, I mean, it's past 20. Okay, but if it can break above here, it could do this, right? And I want to be ready for that. Okay, so, and... Um, the funny thing is, are my positions are still pretty, you know, um, very well for, in, for SPY. I'll show you my positions. They're right. They're right. Oh my gosh, how do I do this? Can I move this? 
Oh, here we go. Here they are right here. My spy positions. I have a bunch. Well, not a bunch. I should just say I have three. Two verticals, puts, and my iron condor. This one I'm going to close already because I'm pretty much at max profit, right? Um, this iron condor right here, uh, I'm, I'm closing out already. I can... These two puts I just did at 39 years ago, so I'm sitting very well. Look at my positions. I have the 185 put, and this other one I have the uh, 180, 192 put. So 185 and 192. So where are we at? Yeah, we're we're good. Okay, so that's pretty much what I'm doing. Oh, I want to. I also want to show you here. This is uh, you can set up your own watch list. This is the scan I talked about. Um, this ETF list is, is everyone can get. All you do is you go to the gear here, go to public, go to all ETFs, select all ETFs, okay, and then just add this IV percentile column in here, and then you can sort by descending order, and it'll go by highest ETF to lowest ETF, okay, for all the ETFs, okay. How do you get this IV percentile rank column here? See this dot next to the word symbol click on that dot go to customize and then you can see it S scroll down to you see IV percentile click that hit add it'll move it over here and then you can highlight these and move them up or down in whatever order you want to appear in a column pretty simple now this is my high IV rank scan okay so if you click this gear on go to personal you will see it right here um, the link to this is uh, it's in the post. I think I put it there numerous times, but it's really easy. Just go up here to the. Oh my! How do I? Hold on, so you can see it. Scroll this. Here we go. See this tab right here? Go to scan. S scan in. Select all optional from here. Uh, there. So it's going to find you anything, any stocks that have, that that's optional. And as far as the option, you want penny increment options. Why? Because they're more liquid. Where it says stock over here, put select mark from the drop down menu, put five dollars. I mean, the minimum should be is five dollars. I'm not worried about the volume right now. Um, I guess you could. Okay, so you could add, click add study filter here. You can click IV percentile between 50 and 100. You can I can you, you can even click on another one and see where it says study right here. You can do. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Let's delete this by. There's a red. There's a red X to the side here. Let's add uh, a stock filter. So click Add Stock Filter, and stock right here. You can put volume if you want. Minimum. Let's say you want only stocks with a million dollars in volume. Okay. So wait. Is that right? One hundred. Okay. A million dollars in volume, right? And then IV percentile between fifteen hundred. Show whatever. I just put two hundred. And sorted by, and then click this again, and select. Go to studies, and go to um, IV percentile. Click that, and then select the sending order, and hit this green button on side here that says scan. And it'll. There you go. Okay, and it's in descending order. Okay, based on stocks with a, you know, it's got to, it had to have a million dollars in volume. From there, save the scan. You can. Oh, I'll try and do this here. Okay. There you go. See this three lines? Hit that, save it, name it what you want, and that's it. Then when you click on your gear here, whoops, how do I scroll this back over here? Okay, then when you click on your gear here, you go to personal, it'll whatever you you live with it. Mine just says high IV rank. Okay, and that's pretty much it. And then it'll be right, hold on. Can I scooch this over a little bit? Uh, maybe not. Oh, a little bit. Okay, anyway, then it'll be right here. Okay, um, I, I think in my IV range scan, I don't have the... Uh, let me try to load it, actually. Um, can I load it? I'll try to load one. I'll load it. And I'll look. Oh, yeah, I do. I have it right here. So, um, mine is just penny increment options. So, I'm just scanning anything in penny increment options, and that's it. And that's what this is right here. Okay? That's my list right here. And I have volume of a million as well. And that's what it is right here. So tomorrow I'm going to be looking at Apple, of course, right here. Because that is a high IV rank. Um, P 
PBR I'm looking at redeploying again. Um, I'm not quite as a max loss, not max loss, but double my credit receipt. But I like it because I, I don't have to worry about these losses eating up all my profits. And I just redeploy because Ivy Rank spiked. And we'll go from there. All right. Hope this helps. Any questions, you know, do a shout out. Use a shout box down below. Or, um, yeah, and if you wanted to know where my cheat sheet is, or like somebody asked, like, you know, what are my days to, uh, you know, for doing all of these, it's right over, shoot, right over, well, where is it here? Um, if you go to Golden Gecko right here, it'll be under here, your, my cheat sheet on how I do it, or my Golden, there's, there's videos here. But see, here it is, 10 point ride, uh, 45, 56 days. Um, and I think I put a cheat sheet somewhere here. Let's go down. I don't know. Oh, shoot. Sometimes I forget. I put it all over the place. So they're here somewhere. Managing. Uh, here. Go and give a super slider. Uh, here, here it is right here. 45 to 56 days to expert. Here's my criteria. Okay. And if that helps you make, put some trades, let me know. But it's been working very well for me. I don't have as much stress when a position goes against me because I know I'm not going to get, I know I'm not going to um, lose a bunch of money. And I know that when volatility rises like I expected to, that will make more money. Okay. And with the scans and everything I taught you guys or I put on here, it's really easy to find some trades. So all of these I can put trades on if they're liquid. Okay. And I'll use Dota to figure that out. All right. Thanks.